Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy since there's a video here today. There's a brand new video bringing you guys 2021 typography trends and text effects. Uh, not text effects, typography trends and variations. There we go. We did the first one in 2020. You guys really enjoyed it. You guys loved it. And I'm going to bring it back for you guys. So if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about though, it's basically where I just kind of give you guys a really cool sort of idea of typography ideas to bring into 2021, whether they're new to you and or not new to you or what's going to probably trend around and just more just, just general ideas to get your brains going. Um, no matter what, if you guys watched this first video in 2020, I recommend it because no matter what trends come and go and no matter what cool ideas are cool ideas in general. So with that being said, let's get this video going here today. If you guys are new to the channel, please sure to subscribe. And if you guys like the video, appreciate sure to like. So I love you guys. And that's all I got. First up for abstract typography ideas, is this really cool 2D, 3D look for awesome futuristic or casual application. It also happens to be the only illustrator one in this video. So just keep that in mind. Now to do it is actually pretty easy. You first want to start off with putting your text layout of choice on a single layer. Something, for example, where you can have heading text at the top, you have some nice subtext below it, maybe even adding some shape layouts as well to it. You can't really go wrong with anything you want to do. They all probably will look pretty good. Then you want to make a duplicate of your group text layer by simply highlighting it, holding Alt and Shift and dragging over, while also leaving a little bit of space in between the two. Then open up your Symbols table layer, go to Windows, Symbols, and drag your full text into the symbols to add it. After you want to press L on your keyboard to bring up the circle tool and to make a perfect circle, you just want to click and hold Alt and shift at the same time. Then with the direct selection tool A on your keyboard, you want to highlight the left anchor and press delete on your keyboard. Following that, select your circle and go to object path join. Then under effect, choose 3D, then revolve. When the table pops up under surface choice, choose no shading and then select the map art. Under the symbol drop down, choose the name that you ended up putting then just stretch your text as you guys please and press OK. Afterwards, you can rotate your revolve option as well, which gives you some more room to make it even more cool and unique. It's honestly a super dope idea to surround a person with like type or an object and pretty much limitless opportunities with the symbols you want to use. Something I think a lot of you guys can really enjoy when you guys give it a shot. Next up for abstract is this really cool slice effect. Honestly, it's super easy to do, but I actually already use this in an upcoming project and I thought I'd show you. Now to make the effect actually stand out, it works best with a light background. In this case, I'm going to use white. All you have to do is start off with your word of choice that you'd like to cut. And of course, make sure it's spelt right because then you have to right click rasterize on your layer after you're done typing it. Then simply take your pen tool, make a slice going through it and cut out one part and move it slightly up or slightly down. Following that, make your brush setting size two, depending on your document size, of course, you can change it and your hardness 100%. Then remake the slice following the angle of one of the actual cut sides. Then make a new layer and right click with your pen tool and then choose stroke path. Then you want to select brush and then it will actually take your brush size and hardness to fill that path in. So basically making a really simple line for yourself. Of course, then on that new layer, you can use a color overlay option to choose whatever color you like to prefer. Then one last time, remake the slice and close the path on the side you want the shadow to be on. Then you can make the closed path by either right clicking make selection or press control enter to make your path a selection. Afterwards, you want to take your brush at zero hardness and a pretty good size and simply shade in the shadow to make a cool effect. Be sure to actually erase the brush selections corners so that the shadow is super clean and pretty much then you're done. It's honestly a super awesome effect to use as a background filler since it has so much movement while also being super subtle. Something I feel a lot of you guys can really enjoy. Now, last up for our abstract typography trends is this repeating text cut look. It's honestly a pretty close look to our stroke repeat typography from last year, but I did actually want to show you these really cool variations that just are super simple and honestly can go a long way. Before that though, it's actually a super simple, easy thing to do. You want to basically start off with your text spelled out correctly, that is. Then on your text layer, you want to right click and rasterize. Afterwards, you want to hold Alt and Shift to make a duplicate. Of course, Alt and Drag can be the way to duplicate something and then holding Shift keeps on the same axis and move your mouse up and down depending on where you want to put your duplicates. Then you want to simply take the rectangle tool or M on your keyboard, highlight around halfway and then just press delete on your keyboard. And you pretty much want to just do that until the desired copies are met. Something that I actually didn't even consider though was actually using this with a word with more characters and playing with space by using duplicates on certain parts and less in some other areas. It honestly makes for some really super interesting ideas that I'm positive you guys will take into the future in one way or another. 
So next thing I'd actually love to highlight is the idea of texturing with type. Something many of you guys probably see all the time but might not pick up its forms. So here's actually three different ideas to maybe help lead your interest. One form is an idea of heading or leading information with something as simple as a line right underneath it, hovering over subtext information like websites, action words, etc. It can honestly be easily implemented and really useful for like a top or bottom filler for your canvas that can pretty much assist as a house for information for your designs. Another form of this idea would include a fun way to actually highlight a date, or you can pretty much make it whatever context you design around it. A descriptive word followed by a date on either side of a line can act as a really cool stamp in a corner of your designs. It's honestly pretty abstract that you can just take this anywhere you want to do it, and it's really awesome for texturing. Lastly, another quick little form of stamp-like texturing would be utilizing a line and basically left justified type to put as a start to important information on the design. Or the line itself can act as a hierarchy to pull eyes in the direction to where important information might actually start. No matter what type of style you approach with type texturing, I think a lot of you guys can actually use these three different alternatives as a really cool addition to projects you can use in the future. Now, I wanted to make sure I close the typography example with this one last slide, and that's basically do not be afraid to actually celebrate your type with texture. Whether that's already adding on to the uniqueness of the font that you chose, or even making the type itself what actually textures your canvas. Pretty much what I'm trying to point out is the fact that, you know, if you have a really cool font, maybe you don't have to overthink the overall design, but just allow the actual font's attitude itself to carry out the design. All right, guys, that's the end of the video that we have here today. So with that being said, I mean, if you guys loved it, hopefully leave a like in the video. Don't forget, maybe just maybe also if you're still here, you might as well subscribe at this point. We can be best friends. Um, but basically, hope you guys take away from this video. Just really cool inspiration going into 2021. Um, if type is not your strong suit, hopefully this channel and this video as well can just be it for you. And if, don't forget, like check out the other one over here, uh, the 2020 version, because I think it's generally going to help you guys out no matter what, if you, even if it's a year old. So with that being said, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Sister HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys. I love you. Thank you. And uh, that's all I got. Peace.